So hello everyone, today I'll be filming a brow kind of tutorial thing. In the past I've dyed my hair a lot like different colours and I follow my eyebrows in with different colours. So today I'm going to show you like a natural kind of brow look, then this colourful eyebrow, how I used to do that. And finally I'm just going to do like a proper like the way I do my brows if I like go out like nice eyebrows. Hopefully this video will be helpful. If not, then let me know. If yes, let me know. I'm gonna start out with kind of like a natural brow look. Now, when you're filling in your brows, and I do believe that you should always fill in your brows unless you have like really good brows. You know, the kind where like these like Italian chicks have like perfect brows. They literally just have to pluck um, some of the excess ones and they're all right. Well. Most of us probably don't have that. Um, so I believe you should always fill in your brows. Now you can use whatever you want. You can use powder, cream, pencil, whatever. I prefer to use like cream kind of products because I think I have more control with them. But you can always use pencils. There are many in the drugstore. The problem is if you're blonde, it's really hard to find like ashy ones. The one I used was this, what's it called? Maybelline brow satin pencil thing. And that's the only one I tried from drugstore that kind of matched me. But the thing is, it did match me. But as you can see, like, it just, ugh, like it just crumbles and it's just like, ugh, like give me a break. I did not enjoy this. And it's not like this one isn't the cheapest one. And it's just like really not good. So I'm saying there are products like that, but you have to be careful. Like I definitely don't recommend this one. Um, but I know that I got my housemate the number seven one. She's also blonde and she said it's amazing. So I'll probably try that one out. But today I'm going to be using cream. So what I like to use for my eyebrows, and it's quite unusual I think. I don't know, I've never seen anyone use it. Are uh, the Maybelline Color Tattoos. I used the one in the shade, I don't know, it's rubbed off. But I believe it's like the taupe one. Or the one in the shade Creamy Beige. Which I'm using now because my hair is more like orangey. But before when I was going for more the more like ashy look. I definitely used this one. So let's do that. So before you start filling your eyebrows in. You should think about like brushing them through. Just so that you can just give the hair some shape. Like before you style your hair you also brush it first. You can use just a um, plain spoolie. I just broke mine. <laughs> so what I use usually is either this Model Co brow thing, which is basically very similar to the Benefit brow. What's it called? But I don't know. I had that one. It's pretty much the same thing. Only this one doesn't have extra fibers in it. Or I use this Number Seven Lash Brow Perfector, which is just a clear, like brow mascara. I just like to go through my brows and just quickly brush through them. And they're brushed through, at least like now they have some kind of shape. If you use something like this that's got pigment in it, you can probably just go with that. Like honestly, look. The only thing is that I'm more of a sassy girl. I like my brows filled in. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline color tattoo as previously mentioned and I'm gonna take like an angled brush that's good for eyeliner and brows take a bit of the product on my brush and kind of like wipe off the excess so that there isn't too much on it and I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows literally just go along the shape of my brows extend like the tail of it a bit more and then just like very roughly fill in the inside just like that so this is how I do like my eyebrows on an everyday basis like not when I'm going out not when I'm doing anything special that's what it looks like that's, so that's like a quick way of filling in your eyebrows it's really easy it's very affordable like these Maybelline color tattoos are about five pounds it lasts you ages like it's much more affordable than when you, for example, compare it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade. Um, so that's, I think, something that's good to invest in. Also, these are waterproof. So even if it freaking rains, even if you go across your eyebrows like this, like, it does not smudge. See? It stays on because, like, it dries dry. <laughs> so this is a great thing. I definitely recommend anyone to use this. 
Okay, so my second look is going to be the one I used to um, wear when I, my hair was like different colours. I'm going to insert some pictures like here <laughs> so that you can see what it looked like. Um, I believe that you should match your eyebrow colour to the colour that your hair is rather than your natural hair colour because if you dye your hair then obviously like that's your current hair colour. So when my hair was like pink and purple, my eyebrows would be pink and purple. If my hair was rainbow, my eyebrows would be rainbow. So I'm going to show you how I did that because I think many people would be interested in that. Even if it's not like an everyday thing for you, maybe if you're just like going out, like to a party or like dress up or something. So let's do that. So as I said, I broke my spoolie, not even ask how. And so I'm just going to be using the uh, wand from the number seven lash mascara lash and brow mascara and I just wiped off the excess product I'm actually gonna wipe off more so now it's like a clean little mascara um, spoolie thing and what I like to do when I do like colorful eyebrow is first hide the color of my own eyebrows because you can see like my eyebrows are quite dark so if I want to go like pale pink that would not look good like it would just look a mess so what I'm first gonna do is conceal them so you can take whatever concealer you want. I'm going to be using the Collection Lasting Perfection concealer today. And I'm just like wiping it on my hand like that. Just wiping some. Quite a lot actually. And now, now that's wiped. I'm going to like coat the mascara wand in it. Quite a lot. And I'm going to go through my brows. And what you want to do is also like brush downwards so that the hairs of your eyebrows are coated not only like this way from the bottom up but also from the top downwards. So that's all done. See that obviously it's paler now. Okay, now that I look good like 40 years older, it's time to put the colour on. Now, because my hair is usually really bright um, to fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to use this sleek palette. And I think I'm getting one of my eyebrows pink and, pink and purple because that's what um, my hair colour was most of the time. And the other one I'm going to do this like mint, greeny and blue colour because that was my second most common hair colour combination. So again I'm taking a little slanted flat brush and I'm going to start with the pink and purple eyebrows. And I'm just start filling them in. Now... You always want to fill, out, fill in your eyebrows with the lighter colour on the inner corner and darker colour on the outside corner. So I'm starting out with the like paler pink and just packing it on. Now if you have really dark eyebrows or if you really care, really want your eyebrows to look really light, what you can do and what I would sometimes do if I was like going out um, was take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white and go over your eyebrows with that and brush that through together with the concealer because that really coats it and gives it a white canvas to start on. That's the pink done and now I'm just going to take the purple colour and like blend them in, like blend them together. And now for like the complete outer corner I'm just going to take like a more vibrant purple colour. So I'm just taking a really vibrant purple colour from this palette. I don't know what palette this is. I honestly got this when I was like 15 from my friend. Uh, but it's got like a really nice purple shade. And I'm just extending my eyebrow. <laughs> Maybe extended it too much. Man. Okay. So that's my pink and purple eyebrow done. Mm -mm -mm. Looks cute. So for my other eyebrow, this eyebrow, I'm going to do like a green, mint and blue colour. So as I said, you should put the lighter colour on the inside corner, so or like the inside part of your eyebrow. So I'm going to use like the mint green colour on there. So now I'm going to change this blue colour. Oh, my one just looked at me. Gave me a weird look. And I'm going to carry on filling in my brows on the outside part. 
probably dip into like a darker blue colour for the like extended tail blue. I'm just going to use one from the Sleek palette. And this is actually what I used to use on my eyebrows when I used to fill them in back then. Because the, uh, the Sleek eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. So it's great for like vibrant eyebrows. It looks much better in real life than on camera. How sad. If you want to sharpen it like a bit more, you can just take some concealer and clean it up. But like I'm all right right now, like this. Well, like, this is how I used to do my eyebrows when I had colour hair. So the last eyebrow look is what I do if I'm like going out or if I really care about what my eyebrows look like. Um, so it's gonna be quite polished, hopefully. So let's get into it. So usually when I'm priming my eyes, my, my eyelids, I would usually prime my eyebrows as well. So let me just do that and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm blending it into the eyebrow as well. It just helps the staying power. Put on my eyelid as well, might as well. So that's primed. Now we're gonna start filling it in. I previously mentioned I like to use the colour tattoo. I'm gonna use a taupe on today. Um, because that's just how I decided. Again, I'm just using like a uh, flat brush. This one is kind of like extreme. Maybe it's a bit too long. I'm gonna use this one then. I think this is by the Royal Brushes Company. So I'm taking the taupe color and I'm gonna start filling my eyebrows in and just following their natural shape. And the only thing is, because I'm going for quite a thick look, I'm filling them in like a little bit above them just to create a more dramatic arch and then just dragging it downwards the thing is I'm not worrying too much about it being like precise or anything because I'm gonna clean it up in a second so this is what it looks like, like once I just fill it in so I'm just gonna do my eyebrow as well now, many times people say that, oh, brows don't have to be twins, they have to be sisters. And because of that, um, I don't know if people like not worry about it or something. But I like mine to be more like twins. And since one of my eyebrows is like a little bit lower than the other one, I have to make sure that I like put my pencil there and see that they end at the same point. So now this one's a bit higher. So I'm just going to... And like right now are ridiculous, like with really thick eyebrows, but that's okay because now I'm going to clean it up. So what I do is I take this Real Techniques, what does it not say on that? You know this little Real Techniques brush that looks like this? And I'm going to take some of my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I've already got some on the back of my hand and I'm just going to run it around the eyebrow and kind of clean up the edges so that they're very precise and again this does not have to be blended out because we're gonna blend it out in a moment I personally Especially have to go over it like above my brow. I don't know. It's just that like my the like the top of my brow is a mess. And now when it comes to like this part, I just take the concealer and I kind of like blend it in with the color, because then it create it kind of like fades in the eyebrow color rather than being just like a harsh square like. I cannot even like see that when people have to like harsh square on the inside of their or like on the inner side of their brow. I just kinda like to blend it, just go in with the brush. I 
so I'm just gonna now go through my brows and fix them and by fix them I don't mean like fix what I messed up but fix them down with hairspray so you may be wondering if I'm crazy because I want to like hairspray my eyebrows but I'm not gonna like go into my eyebrows and hairspray what you do is you take your spoolie or like a mascara brush that you're using and you take it and you hairspray it and now then you have a few seconds when you just go through your brows, brows when you go through your brows and with me it's especially the ones like like outer side of my brows like in the tail they kind of always go wherever they want and I make sure that they are they stay in place using the hairspray okay so that's all down now I have to just put my foundation on and make sure that I blend the concealer into the foundation so that I don't have like a white stripe around my eyebrows because that looks awful so let me just do that so that's the whole look wrapped up like done with the eyebrows check out my hair look mmm mmm so thank you for watching and see you in my next video